Gun control in the US has racist past and present. In fact, most gun control laws throughout history were aimed at preventing black people getting their hands on guns. Here's how. As early as the 1600s, colonies in the states were passing laws that prohibited African Americans from possessing arms. But then the Second Amendment came along in 1791. A well-regulated militia being necessary to the security of a free state. The right of people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. Many Americans interpreted this to mean that they, as individuals, had the right to carry guns. Meaning every individual right? Wrong. Having been emancipated after the Civil War, southern states passed laws known as Black Codes in 1865 and 1866. Among other things, those laws disarmed former slaves in order to sustain white control. In fact, African Americans were already at a disadvantage. They lost their right to vote in many states because of poll taxes and literacy tests. Exploiting many people's inabilities to read and write, states could further impose gun restrictions. Now fast forward a century to the 1960s. That's when the leaders of the civil rights movement made clear that the need for self-defense still existed. In fact, Martin Luther King Jr. applied for a permit to carry a weapon and was denied. In California, gun control legislation was aimed at preventing groups like the Black Panthers from arming themselves against police. In response, 30 armed Black Panthers marched on the state capitol to protest the legislation in 1967. Not long after, then-Governor Ronald Reagan signed the Mulford Act, prohibiting open carry of weapons in public places. The following year saw the Gun Control Act of 1968, signed by the then-President Richard Nixon. The law banned Saturday night specials, which were the cheaply made handguns associated with crime in minority groups, meaning black communities. Both of these laws were passed by Republicans and supported by the National Rifle Association, one of the most powerful anti-regulation gun lobbies in the USA. The organisation continues to advocate for gun owners, though many have criticised the NRA for failing to speak for armed African Americans. So today, why Americans are still more likely to own a gun, and while African Americans' gun ownership is on the rise, black men are 14 times more likely to be shot and killed than white men. So even though almost anyone can apply for a gun permit today, systematic racial bias in the US means that gun control remains a divisive issue.